So you want to learn about force fields in Blender, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, welcome back to my Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to use force fields and, 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 and field weights and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to drag open my right hand side panel, I'm going to switch on over to uh, Cycles Render just because it's a bit easier um, for materials. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything in our scene by hitting B, dragging a box over top of everything, hitting delete. And we're going to add in a shift A plane. I'm going to go ahead and go to the particles tab over in the right hand side, hit new. And uh, if we play this right now, start may, may, may start frame zero and play this, you can see that we have particles falling, which is nice. I'm going to hit RX 180 to make our plane face uh, straight down, by the way. And if I, if I raise this on up, you can see we have particles falling straight down, 100% gravity on the scene. Um, and if I were to go ahead and hit shift A and add in a force field, and make this like a force, then you can see that uh, right at, well, if we let this play again, uh, right now, this has no, pretty much no effect anyway. The reason is because this needs, to, the strength of this needs to be turned up. We can do that by selecting our force field, going over here to the field weight settings in the, uh, the last hand tab here, and turning up the strength to somewhere like around uh, maybe 10 for this explanation. Eh, maybe that's, no, 10, 10, 10, uh, something like that. Yeah, and you can see how the force field kind of pushes the particles all around it, which is really pretty sweet. And we have many different force field settings. If I go ahead and put this plane back in the center, uh, you know what I'll do is instead, instead of a plane, I'll add, I'll make it a sphere and give this the particle system uh, that we just had had. Uh, yeah, right there. So now you can see uh, a bit easier what it's doing. You can see instead of it just falling straight down like this, we have that uh, that little bit of effect of it getting pushed out a little bit. If I were to change this from a force to, let's say, a turbulence, you can see that, uh, well, let me go ahead and see if I can grab it, pull it up like that. Maybe I'll put it down like this. Uh, and then change the strength to, let's say, 50 for the turbulence. Um, you're going to see it gives it more like a, like a random kind of, like a spraying type of effect, which is really pretty nice. Uh, if I were to go ahead and change it from a uh, turbulence to one of my favorites, which is vortex, you can see that we have like a tornado kind of effect. If I turn the strength down, you'll be able to see it a little bit easier. We have like a tornado kind of effect, which is really pretty sweet. If I turn it down even lower to like two, you can see they are spinning a bit. The way we can see this a bit easier, like a cone, you see that, is if I go ahead to the particle settings and turn gravity all the way off, uh, which is down in the field weights, turn gravity all the way to zero, you can see that the particles are now being spun, which is really neat. Um, and also, if we go ahead and change this one more time uh, to wind, which is what is used for grass, by the way, mostly for grass or leaves or trees or something like that. Something to uh, create a type of wind effect. You can see it's working pretty nice here for particles. We could actually, we could have actually done our embers the same way with the with the the wind, which I think we did use. We might have used the wind. I can't remember if we used the point or the wind or what we use sp specifically. But if you want to take a look at the Embers tutorial, I'll leave a link up in the uh, up in the top of the screen right now. So uh, anyway, you can see we have some really cool effects we can do with uh, with uh, with force fields. And, and no matter what direction I change this to, it will always follow that direction. So it's really pretty neat. And go ahead and drag it back and turn the strength on up. You can see we make the particles fly backwards and we can get like a meteor type effect. Like let's pretend this was a meteor and it was flying, but we didn't want to actually move the sphere. We can have particles shoot off of the back of it to give it the illusion that it's actually moving forward, which is really pretty sweet. So uh, that is uh, that's that for force fields. What last one thing I want to do here is uh, is, is set up a, a few different ones and kind of combine them all together. So right now we have a wind. I want to go ahead and shift D, duplicate this, put this up here and change this to a turbulence uh, right there. You can see uh, if we were to go ahead and do this, you can have a little bit more of a uh, of a random effect, which if I get rid of that, you can see it's a, li it's a bit more straight lined. But if I put it back, you can see it has a really nice uh, kind of like wavy effect. And if I turn it up even more, It'll get even crazier, which is really pretty sweet. So, especially for like something like a meteor, that looks pretty pretty cool. Um, and also, what we can do is Shift D, duplicate this again, and changes from uh, changes from from turbulence to Boyd. Boyd does a pretty uh, pretty cool thing. It kind of gives like this wave effect, which is pretty sweet. So, if I turn the strength up, you can be able to see we have a bit of a waving going on right here. If you can't see that a little bit, uh, it's kind of doing that a little bit right there. And we have so many other different. Um, different uh, 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 force field settings to play with. It's absolutely insane, so I recommend go ahead and go and check them out right now. They're really amazing. Play with them, see what they do. My favorites is, of course, the wind, 
turbulence and uh, and and vortex. Force is great for a generic uh, force, but uh, but that's that's uh, that's that. So yeah, that was uh, uh, the basics of force fields right there. Pretty simple and straightforward. This also does work. Let me go ahead and give a quick demonstration. It does also work with hair types. So if I were to go ahead and uh, turn this particle emission way on down now, you can see. If I go ahead and turn the strength of this down, you can see that we have a really nice effect. That, that's the turbulence that's making it act all weird. Plus, we don't have any gravity. So let me go ahead and turn my gravity back on. Um, and we will go ahead and take a look. Uh, grab this guy too and turn the boy down as well. Uh, to something about like two. Maybe we'll go for two for all of them. I don't want them to be thrust in a specific direction. And now, of course, to get the hair to actually bend, we need to go ahead and turn on advanced. And no, no, hair, hair dynamics, there we go, All right? So now they should be able to fall and we're getting a little bit of lag there, but you can see if I were to go ahead and turn my wind up a little bit more uh, to maybe like, yeah, that's good. You can see that the hair is now being affected by the wind uh, force field setting, which is really pretty sweet. So like I said, go ahead, go ahead and check it out. Uh, they're really, really nice uh, functions here. We're getting a lot of lag from this, but you can see that it is working very, very well. Um, so yeah, that's it. This is, this is like a like a ghost, like a banshee. You know what I mean? Um, but this is this is pretty cool. Force fields are amazing. They have a lot of different uses. Go ahead and check them out right now. They're really pretty sweet. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, banshee.